it's me, X Canadensis, and today we're going to be doing a doll hunt haul. Here's the hunt. Savers, let's go. All right, so here we are pulling up into the North Savers. I went to the North one first this time. So many dolls, I was super excited, but I did see that Apple White immediately. I'm just waiting to pick her up. Uh, mostly nude blonde Barbies and dolls that I already have, or they weren't complete enough. I was interested in this doll because I did have her as a kid, but she didn't have all of her stuff, and I felt like it would be annoying to try to find, so left her behind. That was an interesting, like, Moxie Girls bootleg. I've never seen one of those before. Picked up Apple, of course. And then we have... That Wonder Woman I was kind of interested in, but I ended up leaving her for whatever reason. Uh, there's a... Is that one of those BTS dolls? I have no idea. Or is that just a random Barbie? I, I really don't know with the purple hair. Kind of interesting, though. Snow White Disney Store doll. Disney Store dolls are always fun to find, and I feel like they're going to start getting pretty hard to find at thrift stores eventually because the Disney stores are all gone. I mean, for the most part. If your area still has one, you'll probably still have a bountiful harvest, but they're all gone from where I live. So that means people would have to order them online and stuff, you know? Cave Club doll. Hair Adorables doll. They're always missing stuff, which is so annoying. Uh, so I never really pick up the Hair Adorables, but I love them. I just, I don't need them to have everything, but I'd like them to have their shoes and their little outfit. And that seems like they never do, unfortunately. But I don't really see them at thrift stores often. That was an interesting little doll. Um, anyway, I don't really see Hair Adorables at thrift stores very often. And... I feel like that's a good sign because they were blind box toys. So in theory, you'd see them quite a bit because usually like blind box stuff is just like kids buy it and then get bored of it immediately and then thrift it. At least not th like donate it or throw it away. That's at least my experience um, with that kind of stuff, seeing them in thrift stores and going to thrift stores all the time. But I really don't see that too, too often with hair adorables. So I mean, it could just be the areas that I live in. And there is a Disney store Jasmine. I was honestly tempted. I love that doll, but I already have one and mine's still perfect and I don't have an extra outfit. Then we got Apple Score, and then I go through all this stuff off camera. And then over here we have the plushies. Was tempted by the Build-A-Bear Applejack, I'm not gonna lie to you, but um, I'm moving soon. Y'all are gonna laugh at me for saying like, oh, I'm moving soon, so I didn't buy this plushie when I bought a bunch of big doll play sets, but whatever, it's fine, shh. <laughs> um, but yeah, just looking through to make sure I didn't miss anything interesting. Really excited about the SparkleWorks plushie, and look! We are at Saber, <laughs> say hello with my new friend. Here we are at the South Savers, and they've moved the dolls, so I think they probably don't have them all out, and that explains why most of this stuff is repeat from last week. It seems like they're doing something to the Savers, they're like completely remodeling it. Hopefully I get to see that through to the end before I move, but that's okay, looking through the dolls. See how it's, it's mostly the same stuff as last week, and then the stuff that's, oh, I should have gotten Elsa's mom. Didn't I say that last week and I laughed because... It's Elsa and Anna's mom. That was two weeks ago, actually. I was laughing about the... I want that Hair Amazing doll, but for a retail price, why would I buy one that's used instead of just going to Walmart and getting her? I don't know. I assume they didn't think she was retail for $5 because they're really nice dolls, especially for a $5 retail. There was Harley, and I've never seen her before, actually. And I was going to buy her for a friend, but I feel like I haven't heard from them in a long time. Um, not a friend, but like a YouTube commenter, one of the YouTube friends. They said they were looking for a Harley doll, but they haven't commented in a long time, so I wasn't sure if I would be able to get a hold of them, unfortunately. So I left her. Interesting older Ken doll. I would have gotten these Tinkerbell dolls, but I already have them. At least I already have Silver Mist. I'm actually not 100% sure about Tink, but I I make their wings, so them missing wings is not a concern to me, which is great because that, that opens up so many new worlds for me trying to buy them at thrift stores. And then there's a Supergirl there, too. DC Superhero Girls are relatively common at thrift stores, I feel like. I find them a lot, but I'm looking for those really nice articulated ones with the outfits and the shoes and stuff, so those are a little bit harder to find, especially with all their stuff. We have Smile Little Ponies, this really cute little Barbie mermaid. Uh, am I really not going to show her face? There we go. I didn't find a whole, whole lot of stuff, and I'm sure there's not a lot of footage either, but still very happy with the finds that I had, so now it is time for the report. First, this little Sparkleworks plushie. If you guys don't recognize these ones, because I don't know if a lot of My Little Pony collectors would, I don't know. I don't know how obscure these are, but these were in claw machines in, like, shopping malls and maybe amusement parks and stuff, but I specifically remember seeing these at the Katie Mills Mall when I was a kid, and my dad um, got them all for me, and 
Mine, mine are in pretty good condition, but I just could not leave her behind when I saw her for $2. And these are just such a happy memory for me because I can't do claw machines to save my life. And I certainly couldn't when I was five, but my dad sat there and won me all of these. And it's just a really special memory for me and they mean a lot to me. So I had to pick up Miss Sparkleworks here. And I do believe I have the full set anyway, but I don't know what to tell you. I don't know what to tell you. I had to get her. I had to get her. She's so cute. And I don't know. I feel like I've never seen them for sale before except if you specifically search for them on eBay. So I thought it was a pretty cool find. Next is this Apple White doll. And she's one of the unarticulated ones. So she was a safe one to pick up. She she doesn't have her shoes, but and she probably had like a headband or something, but you know what? It's not that bad. I actually have no idea what this line was. I believe it was called like Throne Coming or something, right? Like it was just a weird budget line that stole one of the names of the bigger lines, but I'm not sure. She has super bad glue seepage, so she's gonna need a, a glue treatment, but an Ever After High doll that I don't have is a good pickup for me, and I do have some extra um, Ever After High shoes. I'll just have to look at, I'll have to look at like what her original shoes looked like so I can see if I have any that would be suitable, but you know, Ever After High doll that I don't have, might as well pick her up. I'm not particularly interested in like going out of my way to collect these unarticulated ones because I know I can find them in thrift stores and considering they have so much so many less pieces than the more detailed better <laughs> ever after high dolls um they're easier to find with more stuff so even though she only has a skirt I'm pretty sure she's only missing a headband and shoes so yes and she's really pretty regardless because she's an ever after high doll and I think her face is gorgeous and it's actually really well placed it's it's definitely slightly misplaced but I think it looks pretty good beautiful beautiful apple white that's what she looks like she looks even better on camera actually than she does in person love her she is one of the only dolls i've ever had that rivals me for paleness huh <laughs> anyway alrighty, moving on we have the elo bag do you guys remember these these were i don't even know what company made them oh mattel these were this like lego type toy where you like build stuff but they were for girls which i don't know what that means exactly but these were super cool i had a huge set of these um and i loved them my favorite i still have all of mine from when i was a kid um but this seemed like a complete set like it has the instructions and everything so i had to pick it up for five dollars and these are so cool if you guys if you guys remember these let me know i think they're so cool so i just want to show you how cool the building system is with these so Basically, there's these little squares and circles, and then these little flat pieces, and those are the main- Oh look, the man's still in here! Yeah, you could also make people. See, this is like the full set! Okay, so you get these flat pieces, you get these circles, and you get these squares, and basically you stick the flat pieces into the circles or squares in these little channels that they have. Oh my god, why can't I do it? My hand's like shaking. And then you can make little structures. So what I did with these when I was a kid was I didn't really care for the little people that they come with. They're not super interesting to play with, at least in my opinion when I was a child. But I would use them to make little structures for my littlest pet shop. Oh, this is a special one. Hold on. This is one of the special pieces that doesn't have the extra channels in there. Sorry. So, and it's really easy to build with these but they were super they were kind of annoying for me honestly as a kid because they would um pop apart really often when you're trying to build um but see i've just made a little structure and now since one of the people's in here his arms fell off but look that's what the people kind of looked like oh here's one and you can put the head on or the face on and then yeah she has one of her arms still so yeah, these are what, like, Elo are, and these were, like, really, really cool, and I don't know if I've ever met someone who's act who actually had them before, and I wonder which set this is. Oh, okay, so this is just the big, like, normal set. There were several sets. There was, like, an underwater set. There was a jungle set. These are so fun, and they came with, like, little stickers, which- <gasps> Are the stickers in here? I destroyed the stickers that came with mine. They got all over my carpet. I mean, they're not, like, stickers. They're, like, these- magic static cling things but they never really worked too well for me so i kind of destroyed them so it's great that these are sealed because that means i can like actually keep them for my collection and i can scan them and make them into actual working stickers but isn't this cool and i found this for like 
five bucks. I have no idea if these are like hard to find as a collector or what, but I loved building houses for my little pet shops with these. So hopefully I can combine these with my current LO collection because I do still have my, I mean, I don't know where it is right now, but last, when I moved, I saw them. So I know I still have them. Um, and yeah, I just, I think these are super cool and like underrated because they were really interesting. I, I feel like they clearanced out almost immediately though. Like I feel like they didn't do very well, but I thought these were a really neat idea. And as a kid, I loved them. So I've never seen them in a thrift store before. So I had to pick them up and I saw that they had the manual, which was exciting to me, but the fact that they come with like the string still sealed and the stickers still sealed, major score, very happy about this. Um, it's not really something that I'm like collecting actively or anything, but it's definitely something that I'm gonna like use when I'm like building displays and I'm playing with my toys and stuff. I feel like those would be great for building risers for your shelves with actually. I feel like that would be really a good use, but I don't know when I was a kid they used to drive me crazy because I would finish building my little structure and then they'd pop apart um but maybe I wasn't super good at it as a kid or something I don't know anyway next we have Rainbow Dream I did already buy her I think like not that long ago actually but this one had her jacket so we're moving up in the world so I don't really know what I'm gonna do with the other one that I already have but this one had the jacket so I had to get her I hope my other one had the shoes I'm already packing things to move so my Rainbow Surprise dolls are not currently accessible to me right now um, but maybe I'll find her once I get back to packing. I don't 100% remember which box I put them in, but she's a great find. She was only $3 and she's in pretty much perfect condition. Just no shoes. They never have their shoes, do they? I really wish they did. And if they have the shoes, they never have the heel to the shoe. It's kind of weird, but it's fine. It, it is kind of annoying though, because they have like a pretty unique foot shape in size like I feel like it's gonna be really hard to find replacement shoes for them but no big deal I'm sure I'll find them eventually and these dolls are very pretty and um truly the way I'm planning to display them is with the rainbow high dolls because the rainbow high dolls but they'd be behind them in like a stack display so you wouldn't even see the shoes anyway so I'm not really worried about it but she had her cute rainbow jacket and her tattoos are in perfect shape which is great because some of my other ones, and I don't know if my Rainbow Dream is this way, but some of my other ones have the most whack tattoos. Like, they're really, like, because they're sticky. They're made out of, like, temporary tattoo material, so they get, like, hair stuck all to them, which is nasty. So, anyway, a very good find. I'm very happy about her as well. Um, I am still trying to get, what's her name? The Pink Girl? I don't have her yet, but I'm sure I'll find her. They seem relatively common at thrift stores, and I'm always looking. But ever since I started buying them, I've already found three out of the four pretty quickly and now I have two of Rainbow Dreams so not not too worried. The next thing is the main meat of this haul. I'm really excited about this. I have no idea how complete this is but I couldn't leave it behind. This was I think like 25 bucks but um, it's a collection of vintage toy play sets and one of them I know is the My Little Pony Dream Castle. And then there's some Mattel stuff too. There's an instruction booklet for the My Little Pony, um, what's that called? Baby Bottle Nursery or something. Um, and then that's the Dream Castle, which I don't have. And I really, really want this set. I doubt it's very complete. I'm sure it's just the shell, but I'm very excited to see what's inside. So we are actually going to move our operation down to the floor so that I can open this and you guys can actually see what I'm getting out. So I will be right back. Welcome to the floor, my friends. This is kind of an interesting spot. Uh, now we are going to see what's in the bag. The first thing is kind of small. It's this little pool floaty. There's a pool set in here, so I think this might actually go to it. No, this is a different company. Uh, Arco, maybe? Um, no idea, but I can use it with this. Pool set. Pool set. So this is, I think it was pink, but now it's orange. Um, but it has the stickers and stuff still, which is crazy, because I'm pretty sure you're supposed to put water in here, because it's a pool. It looks like it actually might be moldy, so I'm gonna have to go, um deal with that problem. I've treated mold before though. You just kind of, it's vinegar and boiling water. It's not too bad. Um, oh, there's like a pump here. I wonder if that like makes, I have no idea what this set is, but on the bottom it says Mattel 1983. So an older Barbie set, pretty cool. Maybe it goes to one of the dream houses that I, or, that I don't have, but it, I'm always on the hunt. So, and then there's this. This. This umbrella top. I'm missing all the stickers. Um, this. Is this like a. I think the 
this is like an elevator to a, to one of the houses or something. I actually have no idea what this is. Um, Mattel 1983 the, or 1988 on this one. Maybe the other one was 88 too and I didn't read it right. Um, and then we have this little, maybe like a chair arm thing. There's a lot of stuff in here. Is this a conveyor belt? But it's missing the... I think this was a conveyor belt. And they seem to have put tape on it because the um, the rubber piece that would have been the conveyor belt came off. Yo. I hope I can restore this because that would be amazing to have a doll conveyor belt. Okay, there's so many random things in here. Okay, Barbie soda shop. Topper. <laughs> this toy is not dishwasher safe, by the way, and it's from 1988. Next we have... Like a little outdoor kitchen countertop, possibly? Most likely Barbara as well. I was really hoping some of this extra stuff was pony stuff, but I'm not mad at this. Okay, so I think this goes here, possibly. Man, I have no idea. I don't, I do not know um, Barbie playsets very well, but I'm excited to have them. I actually have quite a few vintage Barbie playsets already because my stepmom uh, gave me her collection. And then my dad found one of the dream houses on the side of the road once. So, okay, so it seems we were correct on this. So this is some kind of snack stand. Um, I love the uh, hot dog or I hope it's supposed to be a hot dog counter. This is hilarious. Um, it seems we're missing a bottom piece, so I hope we find it. I don't know. This stuff all just washed, though. I'm getting, like, a dust on my hands. Um, next we have... Maybe, like, an entertainment center? I don't know. If you guys are familiar with these play sets, feel free to sound off in the comments. This must go to this in some capacity, which is great. <laughs> um, there's also this I saw... So it's like a little play mat. I imagine this goes to the pool, but I do not know. It just says printed in Hong Kong. It doesn't say Mattel, so I don't know. But pretty cool. I miss play mats. I love these. I had a, I had a My Little Pony one. Okay, there's more of these yellow things. So this looks like maybe what you know. Lots of these, though. This is going to be some kind of big fence. And then this. This. <laughs> I don't know. Um, oh, this has little stuff in it. Okay, so this is, it's not marked with a brand, but it's like a nice little treasure chest. It's not supposed to be a treasure chest. Oh, look, it has party blowers and party candles. And if I didn't know any better, I kind of want to guess that it's My Little Pony, but I have no idea. Because, no, I don't think this plastic, but interesting. There's a bunch of them in there, though. Pretty cool, whatever they go to. I'm excited to find. And then this... Oh, is this a piece of the dream castle? Yes! Okay, so this is one of the- oh, look! Is that, like, meant to be Spike's grandma or something? <laughs> um, so this is a piece of the dream castle. Score! I was hoping we'd get at least one wing. It is broken here, but if I were to glue that down, it should be fine. This is really awesome. I'm excited about this piece. Oh, 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 another piece. I have never had the dream castle, and I've never seen it in person, so, um, <laughs> I'm really, really stoked about this. Uh, next we have this which possibly goes with this this was making the most wretched sound so i cut away for you guys's like safety um so this is how it connects but it has like where it's supposed to push in but for some reason they won't push in they just come right off um but this is like a little snack stand like a little concession stand how cute is this i think there must be some kind of shade over it so i hope we have that um maybe i already got it out and i just didn't realize what it was but that's a cool piece that's actually a really cool piece dream castle time so well there's a ton of stuff in here that i think i should get out of there first is this that barbie sunday shop piece is that what this is where's the yeah look i think that's what this goes to but it's not fitting maybe there's another piece but look that looks like it maybe is this some kind of like food play set it's got like holes i don't know questionable and then this so maybe this goes to the other concession stand set because this might be yeah this is this cool okay we seem to be missing some kind of top possibly because i can't get this to sit correctly but that's pretty cool or maybe it's not supposed to sit correctly or maybe what i think is correct is not correct this 
maybe this in some way I don't know I don't know um next we have this little beach chair but I saw this earlier so we definitely have that but there's probably some kind of backing too um but this is cool is this Mattel no see this is also Arco if that's what it says I can't read the second letter um then we have this pink thing no company mark on there all right next we have this big base which I think must go to all those yellow things these so this is some kind of whole set. Okay, this, they don't fit. What company are you? We're not gonna say? Oh, there it is, I'm an idiot. Mattel 1987. So this is some kind of, maybe this is the pool deck? I don't know. Um, pretty cool though. It has an interesting line of where the sun fading has occurred, or that's just dirty, we'll see. We will see now, won't we? <laughs> um, and then there's some kind of, backing that appears to actually go to that set so cool Ooh, the dust that just came off of that oh, okay so one side has this and then the other side has a hammock i don't think it's meant to be a hammock i think it's meant to be a net that's holding merch of some sort um and i think you just pop that right into this little channel here yes. so this is definitely going to need a lot of cleaning but it looks like i have i think i probably have that set complete we will see though and then oh look Barbie surfboard probably goes to that set too. So we have a whole thing going on. If I got at least one complete playset out of this or near complete playset, that's gonna be so exciting. Um, is this a, this is my assumption for what this is, but I have no idea. Um, but that's probably what I'm gonna use it for because I would not be able to display those otherwise. This I saw and was confused by in the store. These are just little barrels, but it says, it has like stickers for different, um, things. So we got a Beach Boys sticker. Oh, uh, we got a Knott's Berry Farm sticker. We got a Have a Huffy brand. I don't know what that is. And then old Older Lay's sticker. It's like a barrel. I'm assuming somebody put those stickers on it and they don't go to it, but yeah, I have no idea what this goes to. And they've taped something on top, this like cardboard piece. I don't know. Um, all right. The big and this is the, this is what it's all about, guys. There's a bunch of little stuff still in there, but this is the dream castle. Oh, look, it has the drawstring still. The drawstring holder thing. I don't think it has the door, but oh, there's a pink thing. Dream castle. I actually have several of Majesty too, so I'm just so excited. This is super dusty. It really needs to be cleaned. I feel weird putting this so close to my face, but it's fine because we're going to clean it. It's going to be amazing. Um, oh my God, there's a picture of the child. She was like, I'm gonna put that right there. That's actually really funny. I'm gonna get that out of there though, because I feel like that's mildly creepy, you know? Um, but that's so cute. Um, this is amazing. And I had those two other pieces wherever I just put, oh, they're under there. Um, I'm gonna cut away in a minute and like try to put some of these sets together and figure out where things go. Um, we're definitely missing the little turret things that go on the castle, unfortunately. I was really hoping those would be in here, but it's no big deal. Um, little Arco chair. So this is several play sets. I wonder if they all belong to the same person. These things. Ugh, this is gonna be a pain to figure out how to put all this stuff together, goodness. Um, another beach chair, another Arco chair. Um, here's the, oh, Lullaby Nursery. What did I call it, baby bottle? Yeah, I have this. I actually have this in box, I think. Well, I have the box. I don't have it like in box, but I have the box and then I have the set that I bought at a different time. Um, did the set come inside my dad found them for me on shopgoodwill.com like he got me two pony sets in the box but i think they were not complete but still that was really cool because i have the boxes to them um a bunch of different poles that's really cool that savers actually managed to put all of the stuff into this bag because i feel like sometimes they separate play sets and stuff this is some kind of base for the arco thing this is another this has the same stickers I just can't imagine that a Beach Boys sticker and a Lay's sticker and a Knott's Berry Farm sticker came on the same little barrel for like a Barbie playset. I don't know. That just doesn't sit right with me. But maybe. Um, and then this thing. All right. Got my work cut out for me. I need to figure out how to put these sets together. So I will be right back. All right. So some updates. First, these are actually chairs that go to this set. Really wasn't expecting that. The stickers actually go to it too, so I don't really know how Mattel got access to the Beach Boys, but that's cool. Um, 
We're missing one of these poles to be able to attach a topper, and we're also missing the toppers. That's a big bummer, but it's fine. Maybe someday I will find it. And then this set, I'm so frustrated. I have almost everything. I am missing one little piece that goes here, or maybe two. Um, one of these that goes here. There must be something here, too. I'm only missing a couple of pieces. This piece, um, it's broken, so I'd have to glue it. Um, and then there's a top, but the top was, like, a grass thing, so I think you could just plop that there and be fine. Like, it doesn't need to be the original one. Also, this is snapped, unfortunately, but that can be glued. Um, but yeah, I have, like, almost this whole set going on here. Well, the, the shell of it, obviously. And then... This actually goes to it. It's supposed to hang, which I have no idea what it's supposed to be, but it's supposed to hang. There's supposed to be a little thing that I don't have that comes down, and then you kind of put this over it. So yeah, this is actually a really cool set. I'm actually really stoked about this one. Um, hopefully I could find like a replacement part lot that has this. Um, and then over here, Dream Castle. Very, very fragmentary. We only really have the shell of it, but I'm very excited about it regardless because I did not have that set. And then soda shop this is actually just warped that's why it wasn't fitting um yeah those are my new barbie sets uh, i kind of bought it for the my little pony set but these sets are good too i really really like this island fun hut set and this pool is really cool too this is all the other stuff oh i totally forgot arco used to make play sets for barbie like officially branded ones so that's what all of these are they go to some kind of barbie set probably this pool i didn't actually look up what went to the pool um but yeah that's it for this video. Thank you guys so, so much for watching. And yeah, just let me know if you had any of these sets or if you recognize any of them, if they're like cool sets. I'd love to hear it. Um, seems like this kid had a pretty swanky little Barbie setup when they were a kid, which I love. All right, for all this time, thanks so much for watching. Bye.